Hi there. I'm pretty excited about our 2023 campaign, but I wanted to take a minute just to ask you two questions and then to provide an explanation about our 2023 campaign clothed in 2023. So the first question is, does your wardrobe, does the wardrobe in your closet contain clothing that is outdated? Would you say that everything in your closet is current? Here's the second question. Do the beliefs in your mind contain spirits and attitudes that are outdated? So allow me to elaborate because I've just asked you the same question, just a different way. We know that a closet is an area of space with a door that is used for storage. We know that your mind, your mind is a container. It is that area of space and you can open and close that container. You can open and close that space, your mind. Your mind, it's like a closet. The second word is wardrobe. We know that a wardrobe is an extensive collection of clothes. And some of us have like a specific type of clothes, like we're interested in athletic wear, or we're interested in that hobo look, or that tomboy, that preppy, or that business casual look. Some of us just have a, a preference or a liking to a particular fashion. Your beliefs, your beliefs are a collection of clothing. Think about that for a minute. Here's the third and final word. It's clothes. Clothes. A cl your clothes are just a type of item within a wardrobe worn to cover the body. Your clothes are like spirits and attitudes. You can have be clothed in joy and clothed in peace or clothed in righteousness, anger, self-doubt, self-mutilation. You're clothed in these things the clothing in your wardrobe in your closet so it takes me back to the question again does the beliefs in your mind contain spirits and attitudes that are outdated I'll ask you the other question does the wardrobe in your closet contain clothing that is outdated as we move forward let me say this reminds me of the video that my son wanted to watch The Grinch in Christmas, and I'd never seen this one before. It came out, I guess, maybe in about 2018. But there at the top in the opening of the movie, we can see where the dog, he rummages through the closet, and as he rummages through the closet, he's trying to find the appropriate garment for The Grinch to put on. And as you look in the closet there, the clothing is labeled. And one is labeled with miserable and the other is very miserable. The other reads nasty and grumpy and wretched. And finally, the dog lands at very miserable. See, these are the clothing that was in his closet amongst his wardrobe. We're gonna talk about this in 2023 because by the time we end the year, I'm praying that you will be clothed deeper in righteousness, that the standard that you have for your life as you open the year is different than you have as you exit the year. I'm praying that all of you went and you got your clothed journal. And as we journal through the year, as we have women that come in and do some teaching from week to week, giving their perspective and insight and wisdom, I pray that again, that there's an impartation. I pray that the anointing will flow. And I pray that you will open your closet, allow us to revisit your wardrobe and every item of clothing in your closet. I pray that God will richly bless you. I pray that he will keep you. And I hope that this makes you think a little bit so that you are willing to visit those outdated garments that are in your closet that cannot be worn as you move into your next season with God. Take care.